Eva Green, the actress, did it in Miss Peregrine's School for Peculiar Children, the movie. And long before her, women in the 17th and 18th century were enjoying it as well. What are we talking about? Well, pipe smoking, of course. The Dutch Impressionists back in the day even painted them. Madame de Pompadour, Louis XV's mistress, was said to have had over 300 pipes in her collection. It also appears not only did they enjoy smoking the pipe, they enjoyed making it as well. And I mean, after all, when their husbands went to sea or off to war, who was left to make the pipes? Well, the women were. It's been documented that Sophia Isberg of Sweden was perhaps the first female wood pipe maker or pipe carver. And uh, if you look at some of the pictures here, her work was incredible. During World War I, the Meerschaum Corncob Pipe Company in Washington, Missouri, which we just recently visited and documented, well, it had over 110 female pipe makers. Greta Garbo, the famous actress, was none too shy about proclaiming her love for the pipe as well. I've even been told that my great-grandma, Cora, enjoyed a good bowl. But with all due respect, these gals aren't who we're going to talk about today. Actually, we're going to talk about Millicent Fenwick. Um, we're going to call her Millie from here on out. As uh, you well know, I can, I've can i been known to butcher a word or two. So, uh, Millie was a four-term congresswoman from the state of New Jersey uh, and editor and one-time writer for, well, Vogue magazine, as well as a uh, model for Harper's Bazaar. And, uh, well... Now, that just seems like a wide spectrum of employment to me, but, you know, pretty cool, though. And with that being said, uh, we're going to talk a little bit about why I'm doing this video today. Number one, uh, I don't want to come off as, well, a sexist male chauvinistic pig, nor lazy, like I, I probably did in the video where my wife's shoveling snow. Uh... Note that, however, my wife's, well, haberdashery is, is grown, grown a little tight, yeah. She's got 31 views now and thinks she's some sort of star. <laughs> and she is in my book. You know, that was all done tongue-in-cheek and uh, uh, meant nothing by it. But, uh, and I've been wanting to do a video on pipe-smoking women for quite some time, famous and not famous, uh, and pipe makers as well that were women. Uh, so that's the reason for this video. And it just so happened it kind of went in with the whole snow shoveling thing when I got to thinking about it. And then when I got to doing my research, once again, rabbit hole, uh, I found out about, well, Millie. And, uh, and and I thought to myself, you know, she was the kind of woman that wouldn't fit up with no male chauvinistic you know, shit. And, uh, and, and she didn't, I don't think, either. Uh, Millie was once described as a... Uh, Tall and patrician, uh, very down to earth, but pungent, I'm assuming, because, well, she liked the pipe. And, uh, yeah, I bet nobody called her that to her face. <sighs> well, maybe, well, Wayne Hayes might have. He was a representative from Ohio who, uh, really, she got under his skin uh, more than once. And, and on one occasion... He told Congress that he wasn't going to pay her aides or staff any longer if she didn't sit down and keep still. Yeah, how about that for some male chauvinistic <laughs> yeah, Anyway, uh, Millie did a lot of great things in Congress. Uh, one of the funnier ones that I read about was, well, she had a nickname and they called her Outhouse Millie and it had nothing to do with her being pungent either, mind you. Uh, it had to do with she fought for, well porta potties for migrant workers. You know, the uh, little blue buildings you see all over on construction sites around the U.S. and I'm assuming around the world, but I don't know if they're blue in Europe. Frankly, I don't care. Uh, another funny thing that I read, she, she must recall a, a debate with a, with a male legislator where, where he said that I dislike this amendment. I always thought of women as kissable, cuddly, and, and smelling good. And Millie's response was, well, that's the way I feel about men, too. I hope for your sake you haven't been disappointed as often as I have. 
<laughs> Touche, Millie. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, so quite the uh, quite the character, uh, quite the pipe smoker. Uh, there's there's lots of images on the internet of uh, well, her smoking in Congress and private and elsewhere. And I will let it be noted as well that Millie often stated that she, she didn't care for some of the pictures because. Uh, she worried about children getting the wrong idea about, you know, and, and bad habits and such. So, you know, touche again for Millie. Uh, and we're going to try to start closing it up here, but very interesting woman. And I'm telling you, as far as pipe smokers go, not that I'm being a male chauvinist. Mark Twain's still number one in my book, but Melissa Fenwick, you're going to get a picture on my wall here real soon. Uh, very interesting woman, and, and this is just really a short video of a lot of her great accomplishments. She had quite a few. Uh, one was being that she had no high school diploma or college degree, uh, but she was still appointed by Ronald Reagan after her terms in Congress as the first American envoy to the United Nations uh, on food and agriculture for Rome, Italy. And, uh, you know, she, she served that post, I think, from 1982 to 1987, when she finally retired as a as a public figure and a, and a, and a politician. And uh, unfortunately, Millie died in 1992, but uh, she did live to be, well, 82. And uh, honestly, uh, tip of the haberdashery to Millie. Uh, she lived quite the colorful life, quite the character. And uh, I'm glad I did this thing on women pipe smokers because uh, I really, uh, really became quite interested in Melissa Fenwick from New Jersey. And uh, that being said, I'll give you a tip of the haberdashery to, uh, well, all those women out there that make our men's world go around. And, uh, yeah, from Sophia Isberg, my great-grandmother, my wife, whom I love very much. Love you, dear. And, uh, well, all the rest of the women in the world that, well, like I said, make it go around. And uh, enjoy a good pipe. That being said, I think I'm going to smoke some more of this pipe. Uh, maybe read some more on Millie Fenwick and uh, bid y'all uh, hasta luego. We'll catch you in the next one.